Good morning all. I am Ramya Devi working as Assistant Professor in SNS College of Engineering. So in this video, I am going to explain about dynamic hashing. So what is dynamic hashing? So dynamic hashing involves the, it is a method used to overcome the problems of static hashing like bucket overflow. So there are two types of hashing. One is static hashing and dynamic hashing in which static hashing has problem like bucket overflow. To overcome that we are going to the dynamic hashing. So in this method data buckets grow or shrink as the records increases or decreases. This method is also known as extendable hashing method. Method makes hashing dynamic that is it allows insertion or deletion out in resulting in poor performance. So what is bucket overflow? The condition of bucket overflow is known as collusion. So this is a fatal state for any static hash function. So in this case overflow chaining can be used. Overflow chaining when buckets are full a new bucket is allocated for the same hash result and is linked after the previous one. As shown in the picture so there are data buckets like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then here whenever the whenever the condition or whenever the condition of bucket overflow occurs so here comes a collision so to overcome this so the overflow chaining when buckets are full a new bucket is allocated for the same hash result for example the data bucket 1 so whenever an overflow chaining overflow of the bucket has been arrived so the overflow chaining is used. So here a new bucket called 6 has been introduced here. And whenever the 6 got filled, the another bucket called 11 has linked with it. And here next comes the data bucket 3 in which whenever the bucket overflow, the, or the overflow chaining can be used. And then a new bucket called 8 has been introduced here. And whenever and for the same data bucket 4, so whenever the overflow occurs the new bucket called 9 has introduced here. So what are the advantages in this method of bucket overflow? So in this method the performance does not decrease as the data grows in the system automatically. It simply increases the size of memory to accommodate the data. In this method memory is well utilized as it grows and shrinks with the data there will not be any unused memory line. So this method is good for the dynamic database where data grows and shrinks frequently. And what are the disadvantages of this bucket overflow? So in this method if the data size increases then the bucket size is also increases. So these addresses of data will be maintained in the bucket address table. So this is because the data address will keep changing as buckets grow and shrink. If there is a huge increase in data, maintaining the bucket address table become very tedious. In this case, bucket overflow situation will also occur. But it might take little time to reach this situation than static hashing. So in this video we have seen about dynamic hashing So in dynamic hashing So here so the bucket overflow has become the so the bucket pro overflow has become a tedious issue and then it has been resolved with by using the by using the bucket overflow bucket chaining so by introduce a new data bucket to the old data chain so there are two types of hashing called static and dynamic hashing here the dynamic hashing is better than the static hashing because 
so whenever the data needs to be grown or whenever the data needs to be added so the overflow chaining can be introduced so that the 